Calling all units, calling all units. Donut Shot has a fresh dozen. Go ahead and take a 1040. Um, so obviously law enforcement, everything is an acronym. So BITE is actually an acronym for, and I don't want to mess it up, so. Border integrity, trafficking enforcement, and um, it's an effort. So Florida Highway Patrol has a, a pretty big footprint um, with canines and felony officers. So we have 60 um, CI criminal interdiction unit troopers. Half of them have a canine. The other half work with that canine to do interdiction. Sir, and I don't know if you're, I'm sure you're aware, but I have on the editing bay your Florida, South Florida interdiction squad. We did it. We did a night together, and we have some good stuff, sir. Hey, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a movie. Those guys, wait. those guys put in some work. Let me tell you that the, they are the professionals beyond uh, the definition of that term. And I, I ride with them. I've been out there with them, um, and they do God's work. Those canines are amazing. I'm a big dog fan. Uh, but Florida Highway Patrol has a very strong, well-trained, professional statewide force that does interdiction. Yes. And then uh, Governor DeSantis deployed 100 of our troopers to Texas to work on the border. We've been out there since uh, about March of this year, uh, March or April, and they're working with DPS, Texas Highway Patrol, and they're doing interdiction. They're doing border, human interdiction, human smuggling. They're getting in pursuits. Uh, so traffic, trying to hold it down. Right? Traffic like is in trafficking. Trafficking, yes. yeah, yeah, okay, right. so, yeah, because I know we said trafficking, and like people might get confused, but it's trafficking, like it's human trafficking, trafficking, drugs, drugs, humans, human labor, yeah. Yeah. narcotics, weapons. Uh, it, you know, I don't. We're not going to get political, and I'm not a political person. I, I work for Governor DeSantis in the cabinet, and I'm a, a chief executive of a department, and I have my duties. But, but I have my own observations. And being down in Texas. There's a problem with people being able to cross the border undetected. And so the governor of that state asked Governor DeSantis for the Highway Patrol and some other entities to come. And from that grew the BITE program. And so what Border Integrity and Trafficking Enforcement Team does is we bring in um, sheriffs, sheriff's deputies, other agencies that are on the border, New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, even as far as out as California. Um, and a lot of those lands and jurisdictions are very rural, right? You have hundreds of miles of, yeah. of, of border um, with with no prophylactic measure to stop people. And so what we do is we bring them over here and we have a little academy for them. We teach them what, what we're doing, how we're doing it through the drones, through the dogs, through um, training. And then what are they doing? And really it's designed for local and state law enforcement to grow those relationships so that we're never reliant upon a federal government um, to, to have uh, entire control of one space in law enforcement, right? So law, immigration is, is generally a federal issue, but that doesn't mean that states can't band up together and work together to protect the border. And well, I think that states important. are being affected. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, it's it, our communities being yeah. affected. And, and <clears throat> Uh, we have a very proud history, particularly in South Florida, with immigration in South Central American space. Um, and there's a diversity of views about whether illegal immigration is good or bad. But a lot of that was was legal immigration. And so the, the result of the Texas border and, and the Southwest border is that Florida ends up receiving a lot of uh, the worst people that come undetected, right? You have people that want to come here and do a good job. There's a segment of those folks that are coming here with a bad purpose. And and Florida in particular is a state, uh, a known travel destination for, for those folks that want to do harm to our communities and want to and participate in criminal activity. Right. And so we have an interest as a state um, in, in assisting on the border. So that's, yeah, so that's what I was going to get at. It's like, okay, so is it because uh, the two governors are are friendly co-parts there that they're like, hey, you got anybody to help out? It's like, no, because our governor is like, hey, we're, we're kind of getting affected by what's happening down there. Let us go. Can we work together to kind of plug up some holes and maybe give some of our resources? Right. So that's kind of how we got right. involved. Yeah, and we exactly kind of like right. deputized, deputized yep. by them? Yeah, we uh, all of us went over there in the first wave and got sworn in and then Every other every wave that occurs thereafter, they get sworn in. There's a, a whole process. But if if any of you or you know folks that work interdiction on the interstate, and you get that 40 pounds of meth, or you get that fentanyl, um, or you have people being smuggled, nine times out of ten, there's some nexus to the Mexican cartel, right? And so mm -hmm. it's going past that border and it's coming to Florida. And we know what the fentanyl crisis is doing. We know. Uh, that there are a lot of victims in this community that are working against their will, and we have an interest and an obligation 
as law enforcement officers to, to work to stop that, and it's a difficult issue. So our guys are, are going out there, and it, right now at this point, is it just uh, Florida Highway Patrol, or you said there were some sheriffs, or how does that work? So right now from Florida, we have 101 Florida Highway Patrol troopers. We have, I think, about 15 to 20 FWC officers that do God's work on, on the Rio Grande River there. I've seen, seen them in action. Uh, I've seen them doing some incredible things with one hand on that airboat. There's a video out there. Um, that uh, sir next time you go out there you got you got a camera guy here you gotta let yeah. me let me get out there and do some vlogs i think you'd be fascinated by yeah. what, what you really see out there yeah um and we're finding 14 and 15 year olds with ar-15s and 40 pounds of, and they're not Jeez. doing this because they're bad people they're yeah. Yeah. it's basically a cartel driven industrial organization over there yeah they're moving this and, and an open border just supports that it supports it with human labor free human labor and it supports it with capital right so all that money that's made selling these drugs and um selling these people for labor it goes back to the cartel and and it's a very devilish organization so if I'm a sheriff, do I know about this program, or if I, is it just um, just for Florida to be involved in this program, or can I be from another state? Do you know of other yeah. states so, that are involved? The, so the pitch uh, that I would give is if you're a, a southwest border or um, a large interstate jurisdiction, I-10, whatever, whatever those pathways are in other states, they know them, these, these sheriffs know them, these local police know them. If you want to work with a professional organization and, and see what we're doing in real time um, and see if we can assist you in that, and maybe most likely you're gonna have things to teach us as well, uh, go to FHP website, reach out to me. Um, we, we will have you down here at Camp Blanding. We work with our National Guard and you can see in real time what we're trying to do and how we can partner with you. And so we're trying to stand up uh, an effort nationwide to interdict these criminals. Right. Hey, what's up, guys? If you like that clip, go over and check out the full episode at Donut Shop Podcasts. Link is down below in the description.